Hi guys, welcome back to our kitchen. I hope you are having a beautiful day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Claudia and I wanna invite you to hit that subscribe button so you too can be part of our family. Today I'm gonna to show with you how to make some delicious pollo asado flautas. These are perfect for the day that you want something fast, easy, yet super delicious. So in case you guys wanna how to make them, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so first we're going to begin by seasoning our chicken. Here I have one pound and a half of chicken tenders. And I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil. And I'm going to be using Lori's Pollo Asado Seasoning. And just add a good amount. Along with McCormick's Rotisserie's Chicken Seasoning. And just make sure that the chicken is fully coated. Okay, so my chicken is still a little cold, so I'm just going to allow it to chill for a couple minutes just so like that it could come to room temperature. Okay, so after a few minutes, we can get ready to begin cooking. Okay, so now we're going to get our comal, set it on medium-high heat, and allow it to heat up. Okay, and once it heats up, we're going to place our chicken, and we're going to allow it to cook for three minutes on each side. Okay, so after three minutes, we're going to flip our chicken over. And we're going to cook that side for another three minutes. Okay, so after three minutes, we're going to remove our chicken from the griddle. Finish cooking the rest of the chicken. And meanwhile, we're going to cover this chicken and allow it to rest for five minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, we can now get ready to shred the chicken. Okay, so just grab your chicken and shred. It should be nice and tender. Okay, so as we have our chicken all nice and shredded, this part is optional, but I like to add a little bit more seasoning. Just a little bit. Okay, so once we have that ready, now we're just going to finish making our filling. Okay, so in our bowl, we're going to break down four ounces of cream cheese. So just break it down. Okay, and to that, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of sour cream. And a quarter of a cup of green chilies. These are the ones that I'm using. Okay, so now I'm just going to mix it. So mix it up together. And now we're going to add our chicken. and one cup of Mexican style blend cheese. So just mix it all together. Okay, so once we have our filling, now we are ready to form our flautas. Okay, so now we're going to grab our ready to cook flour tortillas and we're going to cut them in half. You can use them as a whole like that if you want your flautas to be very big. So I like to cut them in half. Okay. We're going to grab our tortilla and we're going to be adding the filling on the flat air on the flat side of the tortilla. Okay, and we're going to add our filling. We're going to grab the ends and roll. Just flip it over so it's easier and just roll to form the flauta. Just like that. And we're going to repeat the same process to all of our tortillas. All right, so once we have our flautas all nice and rolled, now we are ready to fry them. Okay, so now we're going to grab our frying pan, set it on medium heat, and we're going to add oil. I'm just flip them over. Okay, so once they're nice and golden all around, we're going to remove them from the oil. And we're just going to repeat the same process to the rest of our flautas. All right, you guys, and once we have all of our flautas nice and cooked, now we are ready for the fun part. All right, you guys, so before we get started to the fun part, I wanna show you what the inside of the flauta looks like. So creamy, so yummy. So now we can get ready for the fun part. 
Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I'm going to be topping my flautas with some lettuce. Some sour cream. Some avocado salsa. Pico de gallo. And queso cotija. And just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious pollo asada flautas. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super delicious. Um, it's not spicy. I mean, of course, if you, you know, your green chilies are spicy, then this is going to be spicy, but this is something that your kids will enjoy. And of course, if you don't want to fry them, you can always bake them or air fry them. I will leave the times in the description box. And my flautas, they're already been a little bit soggy since they've been sitting out for a minute. But I love flautas, tacos. And I didn't know till maybe a year ago that flautas are, you know, these are called flautas because they're made out of flour tortilla. Taquitos are made out of corn. I didn't know that till maybe last year. But cheers and enjoy. Mm hmm. And even though they've been sitting, they're still a little crunchy. It's so good. If you love chimichangas, you're going to love this one. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious pollo asado flautas. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.